Melbourne taking on the fifth place Tigers and we join the action in the third quarter. Commentators Graham Dawson, David Grant and Mike Fitzpatrick. Bad percentage all the same for Batterston who has only had ten kicks. Three goals, one from them. There's Amir, busy player for the Tigers now. Nice pass finds Landy. Landy and uh, Flower having an interesting tussle too. Landy's kick out wide. A mark taken there for the Tigers by Egan, Egan up towards the goals and there's Taylor Taylor runs round quickly he's allowed to play on and the goal, goal to the Tigers number three for Taylor and good play by Phil Egan from half forward interesting to see the Ruckman here Mike running uh, yes this has been going all day and it's been a very effective tactic for Moore nullified there by Lee Rioli runs into a teammate Rollings Melbourne back into attack, Landy in front, does well to outpoint the Melbourne skipper Flower. Landy moved on to Flower midway through the first term after Flower was too much for Walsh. Just the target, he's faded, pushed it cleverly to Welsh. Welsh is tripped and will get a free kick. He's just about to get a hand pass away, Taylor leads in front of Smith. Zantuck read the pack well to Healy, Healy lurking at half back. Switches play to the southern stand side, looking for Williams. Oh, he does well to get it to Johnson. Good play. Lovely pick up by Johnson. Look at the pass to Templeton. Classical stuff by the Demons. Templeton showing a little bit of agility. Takes his sixth mark. He's kicked one goal, one for the Demons. And he's about 45 metres out directly in front. And that's about as far as you'd like it. Is it going to make the distance? It is. He's popped it through. That's his second goal, and the Demons lead by seven points. Kane to Strawn. Strawn close to the line. There's Fidge. Gee, he's a busy player. Johnson's there to help out. Good football by the Demons. They're there to back up at all costs. On to Yates, and Yates will find Flower. Flower around. The man coming towards him was Landy. He'll run into goal number three and put it through. Great play, Skipper. Start of the final term and Melbourne lead by 10 points. There's a free kick to Moore. Ruck infringement at the centre bounce. Moore has done well against Lee, considering a height disadvantage. And there's Lee dropping back to set a half back to mark the Moore kick. Switches play to the members' side and a near. He looks and finds a teammate in Welsh. Just over the attacking side of the wing. The Demons have led at every change. 14 points at quarter time, 7 at half, and now 10 at three quarter time. Giles to take the ball away for Melbourne. A beautiful smother by Rioli. Bailey is there for the Demons. Oh, it comes out to Jarrett. That's good play. Melbourne getting the loose man working. Templeton the target. Stewart takes the front position. Flower reading the pack well. He's got away from Wall. He has Williams in support. Flower's going to do it all by himself. Oh, and despite the fact that he had Thorne all on his own up there in front of goal, Flower puts it out of bounds on the full. Flower has three goals to three-quarter time. The free kick uh, finds Mervyn Kane. Members stand side of the ground, but uh, still deep in the Richmond defensive zone. Now they're getting further out. Here's uh, Walsh. Walsh up towards centre wing. Chance there for Francis. Not a good bounce for him. Peter Welsh. Not on the ground until after half time. The hand pass finds Lee. Lee will look for the leading Taylor who's behind Smith. Smith in front. He'll recover. Doesn't need to. Free kick. Well, Taylor always behind his man there and really stumbled into the uh, Melbourne fullback. O'Sullivan. That raking left foot kick. Not well directed though. Rollings. Behind him is uh, Jared Healy. Brother Greg isn't playing today. His place was taken by Batterston. But uh, Rollings recovers nicely. Francis onto Rioli. Rioli back towards the centre wing before he takes his kick. Close to out of bounds, but plenty of Melbourne defenders there. Smith, great battle against Taylor today. And out he goes, through centre half back. Half back flank, if you like. Over towards the outer side of the ground. Knocked forward by uh, Pitt. There's Flower. Keeps the ball in play very cleverly. He was out, but the ball wasn't. And great football finds uh, Healy there at half forward. Demons going back into attack. They lead by 10 points, three minutes into the last term. Down to Fitch. Fitch to Williams. Melbourne moving the ball. Williams will go short. 
just over the head of O'Sullivan. Johnson, the ball bouncing through. For a behind, run across the line by Landy. So the Demons lead by 11 points, three minutes into the final term. Straight down the ground. Healy was up high. Giles gets it back to Healy. Been prominent since half time over the head of Strawn. Templeton to try and knock it on, which he does effectively. First there is Peart. Oh, he's beautifully tackled by Flower. And he's oh. going to bounce it. Oh. Oh. Well, you couldn't see a better tackle than that. Flower absolutely stopping Peart in his tracks. And the umpire is going to bounce it. I don't know what had happened if it had been the centre of the ground. Williams takes too long. Boundy throwing in the right forward pocket for Melbourne, about 25 metres from the behind post. It was a fine tackle by Flower, but also there was an elbow leading, and uh, there were two good reasons for giving Flower that kick. Uh, here's a penalty. <laughs> Rowan Saws, the umpire in question, under a lot of pressure, and the free kick will be taken by Walsh. Had very few kicks in the first half, but had about six in the uh, third quarter. So he uh, is finishing on his work pretty well. Rowan Saws is still uh, officiating again. And the free kick goes to Yates for Melbourne. One of the younger brigade and a real fine, Graham Yates. 11 kicks so far for him. A handy game from the, from the newcomer. A lovely pass too. Finds Templeton. Great pass. His disposal has been impeccable. And eight marks to Templeton. Templeton, in turn, has only kicked two goals. And as Graham mentioned in the, uh, the third term, 45 metres, which is about the distance he's out, he's out from goal now, is just about as far as he needs these days. It used to be a very long kick of a ball, but pulls it now. Here's the kick on its way. It's going to drop right in onto the goal line, and it's through. Third goal to Templeton. And the Demons kicked five goals to two in the last quarter to clinch victory by 27 points, their third win in a row. For Melbourne, Flower kicked four goals and for Richmond, Taylor kicked four goals. And after the surprise result, Graham Dawson lost the toss and had to interview a fired-up Tigers coach, Mike Patterson. After four successive wins, a disappointing performance today by Richmond. Disappointing to lose, yes. Uh, was there any overconfidence in the players today? No. Complacency creeping into the side after. No, I've answered football. that with you know you can say complacency and confidence, and you can continue with the line of questioning, but it's not correct. Right now, during the week, uh, the chaps had what a night off training on Wednesday. That the first break they've had for the season. That's correct. Um, any reason for that? No, we just felt that um, probably we we've been training four nights a week since February, and it was uh, we were due for a break. Would you go back to the structure of uh, four nights a week? That was week? intended last week anyway, yeah. Now, um, do you feel that uh, Melbourne perhaps showed up a lack of pace in the Richmond side today? Look, uh, no, we, we were just were not desperate as Melbourne were. Melbourne probably felt um, on the situation they were in, they probably had more to gain than what we did on today's game. We weren't as desperate. We didn't play from the front position. You know, all due credit to Melbourne, they played well. You made the comment uh, in the interview with the press chaps that uh, it's difficult to string together a number of wins, it seems to be. No, I didn't make that comment. I made the comment along the lines that it's a long time since anybody has won over four in a row. Well, is there any reason for that? Well, I'll leave you to work that one out.